You can't beat me, Batman. Grow up! Why didn't you subscribe to TV Box Academy? I did subscribe, right before you showed up. Then why didn't you tell me? I was waiting for the right time, but you blew it! Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Nano Banana Pro or 2 released on November 30th, 2025, and it is the latest standard for high quality generation, improved text rendering, complex prompt understanding, and photorealism. Nano Banana Pro or 2 is available in Gemini. Go to Gemini, upload your file. I'm going to upload this picture of this iPhone. Select the picture and click on open. Now we're going to create a technical engineering design of this iPhone. We're just going to type it in, create a technical engineering drawing of this iPhone 17. And here we go. We have the technical drawing of this iPhone 17 that nicely shows how this design front, back and the side is. It also includes the size and all the other technical notes, especially the dimensions and how the logo is situated on the back of the iPhone. Now I want to change the color from this kind of yellowish to a whitish color. So all I have to do is go to Nano Banana Prompt, which is the Gemini, and type in change the color to white. And here we have it. We have the white drawing of this iPhone 17. This design looks like something from a technical sheet of any product that you can find on the internet. And it looks like someone has spent hours to draft this design. Let's try something else. I'm going to upload this SSC enclosure from TestMart X5 Max, and I want to create the same technical sheet or technical design or technical draft from this product. See how it takes a picture and turns it to a blueprint, just like this. And this is amazing what Nano Banana 2 or Pro can do. Yes, maybe the previous versions was able to do Something like that, but not this accurate. Nana Banana Pro takes the world's knowledge and applies it into any design you give it. And that's the difference between Nana Banana Pro 2 and different previous models. You can see how precisely it broke down the design with all the technical notes taken from that image and created a little footnote down here. It also calculated the measurement taken from that picture and place it into a nice blueprint. Let's try something amazing. I'm going to upload a picture of the sunflower and I'm going to ask Nana Banana or Gemini to create instructional illustration on how to take care of this flower. And as you can see, it did create that illustration for us from receiving full sun six to eight hours a day, water regularly, well draining soil, stake for support and protect from pests. And trying to do this on Photoshop, yes, it probably would have taken you about 20 to 30 minutes to have it done professionally like this, but only took us seconds to do it. Let me close this window and let's do some police work. We're going to upload a picture of a suspect. This is a picture that was generated by Nana Banana 2. I asked to create a sketch of a, a suspect and I'm going to ask Nana Banana to turn this to a photorealistic image. This is something for years police wouldn't be able to do, but with this technology, they can easily find the suspect. And here we go. Here's our suspect. Can you just imagine how fast FBI or police can identify a suspect just from a sketch now? Just how many cases will be solved using this technology? That's what makes Nana Banana Pro 2 so amazing of being able to create such a photorealistic image, an understanding of every aspect of that sketch that we had and turned it into a photorealistic image of the same person. And when you compare both images, you can tell that everything that was included into this sketch, it was all included in the generated image and provided every detail about that sketch, like the mustache and the beard, and also the wrinkles on the face, 
everything looks so perfect, including what he was wearing. A baseball cap and the hoodies. Now, let's try to make it more fun. Let's ask Adele and Ronaldo taking a selfie at the dinner party. And here we have it. Adele and Ronaldo taking a selfie at a dinner party. So natural. And it's hard to tell that this image was generated by an AI. Let's change the character to Messi and see how it's going to look. We're going to change the prompt. We're going to say, change Ronaldo to Messi. And that's how smart is not a Banana Pro 2 because we don't have to do the entire prompt. And here we have it. They're taking a picture together. Adele and Messi. Same people, same scene, same characters. Nothing has changed. And that's how consistent is Nana Banana Pro 2. Now let's change Adele to Taylor Swift. Same people. Isn't it just that amazing that you can switch characters, any character, to anything you want? From Ronaldo to Messi, from Messi to Ronaldo, from Adele to Swift, and from Swift to Adele. You couldn't do this six months ago or last year without using a seed number and complex prompt and different techniques. Let me show you something else. I'm uploading an old picture from like 1930s or something. We're going to ask to restore color rise and remove any scratches or any distorted portion of this picture. This is the original picture I created in Nana Banana. And here's the restored color rise picture of that old picture. Not only we can do all this in Nana Banana Pro 2, but we also can use Google Flow to make these people talk to each other or move or do things from 1930. If you haven't watched my Google Flow video, please do. It is in my channel listing. And you can actually understand the concept of how Google Flow works and use that tutorial to create amazing TV commercial and promotional videos. I created this image by Nana Banana Pro 2. Now, we're going to ask to turn this cartoon sketch into a Pixar style image. Let me zoom it so you can see it better. This is the sketch here. And this is the image created using the Pixar style. So if you have any of those sketches drawn by cartoonists like in Fisherman's Wharf, like in San Francisco or elsewhere, you can turn those sketches into a nice Pixar style image. And it used every detail from this picture here, from this image, and turned it into a Pixar style. And you can actually do more with this. We're going to ask Nana Banana 2 or Gemini to go ahead and uh, create a photorealistic of this image. And here we go. He is more photorealistic of the previous picture. So there's like three versions, the cartoony sketch, the little Pixar style, and this is like more realistic of the same previous version. Now it's time to do some superhero stuff. Now I ask to create an image of Batman and Superman on a rooftop right next to each other and this is what it gave me. Then I ask make it a daylight and it gave me a daylight picture of Batman and Superman. And it's a very high quality picture because when you click to zoom you still can see the full detail of this image which is important for making our clip. Now we're going to ask the prompt to relight using cinematic light rays. And enter. This is our cinematic light rays and looks very cinematic, in fact. Now we're going to ask the prompt to change that to a cinematic golden hour. All we have to do is just type it in. Relight using cinematic golden hour. And we have our golden hour cinematic image of Batman and Superman. Let's add rain to this image and see how it's going to look. Just type in the prompt, add rain effects. And rain has been added to the image. Let me enlarge the picture so you can see the rain effect. Now we can undo all this and say revert back to the daylight image. And here's our daylight image 
Why is it so important? It's important because it shows you how consistent Nano Banana Pro 2 is and you can revert back to the original picture. Now let's make it stormy and windy. And this is a stormy and windy night for Batman and Superman. And the clouds looks like Gotham City. And I think this is the picture that we're going to use to create our clip. And again, if you haven't watched my Google Flow tutorial, please do because you will understand more of what we're doing here. Then I asked ChatGPT to create an 8 second Batman and Superman fighting scenario. I asked for an 8 second video clip because that's what Flow uses to create only 8 seconds. Then I went to Google Flow, selected frames to video, uploaded that image that we created and pasted the prompt from ChatGPT here and make any changes in this script before making the video. Then click to generate the image. I selected to create two videos. Let's check it out. I thought we were friends. Why didn't you subscribe to TV Box Academy? I did subscribe right before you showed up. Then why didn't you tell me? I was waiting for the right time, but you blew it! Then I imported all the generated clips by Google Flow into CapCut and placed it on the timeline and add some filters and effects, including transitions between scenes. There are three elements in CapCut transition, filters, and effects. As you can see, I use some lightning effects and blurred effects to create the opening scene, which it blended perfectly. You can't beat me, Batman. Grow up. I didn't have to create any separate audio for the dialogue, and it was all created by Google Flow using the ChatGPT scenario. Now I use this blurred transition between scenes to make it blend better. There is so much you can do with CapCut. Believe me, there is so much you can do. Please watch my other CapCut tutorials and effects if you want to edit better and create professional clips. Since Google Flow only creates 8 seconds length videos, you may end up creating several 8 seconds clips. And when you create them, when you bring them to CapCut to edit, between scenes, maybe some of those frames not going to match. Using this effects, filters and transitions will help you to overcome that. And that's what I exactly use to make sure these clips do match between scenes. One of my favorite clips was this one right here. Um, this transition, it's like lightning effect, which between the previous frame and the frame following that, it makes a perfect blend. You can actually do more adjustments up there, but I didn't have to, I just used the default. And you can use the transition filters or anything up there in the menu, especially on like this effect was this one right here. And it gave me a nice lightning transition, which it's really hard to tell this was two separate clips. And I made other clips like the fighting scene and all that. And, and that was the scenario I asked ChatGPT to create for me. In one scenario, I asked ChatGPT to have Batman stick a kryptonite into Superman's face and make him like kryptonite face effect. Like in this scene, after the kick, Batman is going to fall, he's going to grab the kryptonite and he's going to stick it into his face. Then once you're happy with your edit, click on export and export your clip. And here's the final video. Let's watch it together. You can't beat me, Batman. Grow up. Why didn't you subscribe to TV Box Academy? I did subscribe right before you showed up. Then why didn't you tell me? I was waiting for the right time, but you blew it. And here's the fighting scene. Please don't forget to like, 
subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Please become a monthly supporter of this channel using the QR code or become a member through YouTube channel. Every super thanks is appreciated.